It's time for Anello Answers It, and this week we're talking about one of my all-time favorite weather phenomena. It's called the Saharan Air Layer. Did you know that each year over 180 million tons of desert dust leave Africa and they head our way? Now, it's nothing to be concerned about, but what it will do is give us more vibrant sunrises and sunsets, and it'll dry out the air above the Atlantic Ocean and likely lead to a less active Atlantic hurricane season. Now, this is what we're looking at right now. These oranges and reds, that's the dust, and it's getting very, very close to the Gulf Coast, which is going to impact us just in the next week or so. Now, what happens is each particle of dust acts as its own prism, and it reflects and scatters the sun's light, and that's why we'll see more oranges, more pinks, and more reds in our sunrises and our sunsets. But let's talk about exactly how it works. Well, first, that air rises from the Sahara, that dust does, and then the wind blows it across the ocean. Now, as it does this, it starts to interfere with our key ingredients that we need for hurricanes. For hurricanes, we need three things. We need air temperature right above the water and water temperature of 80 degrees. We need abundant moisture and then we need some sort of stormy tropical disturbance. However, when we enter in this Saharan dust, it starts to mess with two or three of those factors. You see, it reflects the sun's light like we talked about, which means it doesn't heat the water as much, so we no longer have as warm of water. And of course, because it's dust, it absorbs the moisture in the air, taking that out of the atmosphere as well. And that's why we're likely to see a less active Atlantic hurricane season this year. Well, that's all for Anello Answers It this week. If you have a weather question, be sure to email it to me at gianello at waytv.com because I would love to hear from you.